Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today I'm going to be telling you guys how to improve at rebuff and just genuinely get a better KD, drop 20 to 30, 40 bombs and just how you're genuinely going to improve at the game in general. Quick before we do jump into the video though, if you are new around here, be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications so don't miss any more videos on the channel. If you do enjoy it, smash the thumbs up and let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. But let's jump straight into it. So there's a couple of things I'm going to go over guys within this video. It's going to be movement, aim, rotations, loadout, awareness and then how to play your life a lot better to be able to actually get into the positions where you can drop 30 to 40 bombs bombs because you haven't died yet you still got a self friend and the momentum of the game is just carried on the whole way throughout so it's going to help you get those bigger kills okay so the first thing we'll be talking about guys is movement and movement is very key especially in rebirth we've had how sweaty a lot of people are right now and how good a lot of people's movement is you also need to have good movement and the thing i'd recommend to start off with it playing on your movement is checking all of your settings like find some settings that just allow you to run around the map very very easily one setting i'd recommend putting on is automatically tactical sprinting so every time you push your analog stick forwards it's automatically going to attack sprint and then every time you slide cancel as you come out of the slide cancel it's again get a tactical sprint by itself right you have to spam the analog stick which makes your slide cancels a lot more fluid it allows you to get around the map a lot faster but also when you're in gunfights and you're trying to slide left and right at people so they can't hit you it's going to make this a lot more easy to do because you haven't got to worry about spamming the analog all the time it gives you one less thing to do but yeah, movement is one of them things that can literally save your life within gunfights. Like, if you can have good movement, you can actually get out of a lot of gunfights. If you're in a situation where you're fighting a whole squad, your movement is very, very key in this sort of situation. Say, for example, you knock one player and you know there's three next to you. What you're going to want to do from knocking that first player is rotate into a different position where you can still see where they're going to come from, but they're not going to expect you to be in that position because you've been called out in that first position. And then again, you're going to get that second, maybe even the third knock, and you're going to rotate once again to get the final kills as well. Try and get your finishes where you can. But obviously, if you're fighting a whole squad, squad i would focus on killing the first couple of people that you do see rather than going straight for the finish i see a lot of people do that regardless of how many people are out they'll get the one knock and they'll go straight for their finish and then because they've wasted time going for a finish the rest of the teams come in and just swoop them up and it's just an easy kill for them so they don't get in more than one kill they literally get the one kill and then they're dead whereas if you get the one knock and you move position where they're not going to expect you to be you can pick up a second like i say maybe the third knock and then rotate again and get the final couple of kills and then worry about all your full kills and if you even if they get self res or whatever it is they're going to have little help so it should be easy to take them out of the game before they'll take you out of the game. Next thing we're going to talk about is aim, guys. And aim is obviously a massive thing. If you've got bad aim, you're not going to win gunfights against someone that's got good aim, right? It's as simple as that. You need to have good aim within this game. The biggest thing that you guys can go and do is go into like a private match or something like that on uh, multiplayer and just practice your aim. Just get better at aiming. Just get better at snapping onto people, tracking people, and all that sort of stuff is the easiest way to do it. Whether you're playing on rookie bots, recruit bots, whatever it is that you want to play on, it doesn't actually make a difference. All you guys are going to have to do is practice your aim on over and over again if you're someone that likes to snipe get used to sniping and hitting those headshots don't be aiming anywhere else on the body the only shot you want to be hitting with snipers is headshots guys so if you are someone that snipes go into private matches get used to headshotting people if you're someone that uses smgs and ars get used to tracking people really well and be able to hit those bullets every single time as they're moving along and move the gun along with them so what i highly recommend if you guys know your aim is pretty poor and it's actually not that great at all what i'd recommend is going to private matches just get used to aiming find a better ads sensitivity as well that's one thing i'd recommend for me, I always used to play on one ADS sensitivity. I now play on 0.65 ADS sensitivity. That's how much I dropped it. And since doing that, it's made me so much more accurate. So I highly recommend you mess about with your ADS sensitivity in the game because that could help you track players and just genuinely get a better aim. But also what I'd recommend doing is going to a private match, practice against bots and just get used to tracking people, snapping onto people and actually be able to hit those shots. Make sure you're hitting chest and headshots, obviously, because it's going to kill them faster. Once you've got better at private matches and you feel, okay, I'm actually improving here, then get into something like Team Deathmatch or Multiplayer where you're actually playing against real people. Track them, get good kills on them, make sure your aim's good on them, and then get back into Warzone, and then your aim should be much, much better in Warzone than what it was before, and that should allow you to start winning a lot more gunfights and improving that KD. Okay, so this one sort of ties in with the movement, and it's going to be rotations and the way you want to rotate around the map. What you need to be doing whilst you're playing, yes, you want to go and get as many kills as you can, especially if you go for a high kill game. You want to be fragging out and just flying around the map to everywhere you can, but you also need to be aware of where zone is and where it's going to come from and sort of who's in what position because if you go and push into a building where zone then ends up coming through you anyway in a gunfight and zone's taking you out so you've got gas mask animations or you're going to end up coughing or dying to zone you don't want that at all so make sure you're making note of where players are and where the zone's coming in from and you can just position yourself in a much better position like if someone's got to push out of a building say for example you're playing rebirth and you've got the big great uh, big green building at the bottom of the hill right say people are in there and zone's just about to push them out instead of going flying in trying to take out all four of them because like i said you're going to get gas mask animations 
stations or like die to zone or something like that just wait at the little shack or by the tents or something or even on top of the hill by the wall and let them push out and just pick them off as they come out it's going to be much much easier it's going to put you in a much better position to win the gunfight and it should make the game a lot easier for you to actually end up winning the next one's obviously going to be your loadout, and the loadout is very key. If you end up running bad guns in the game, or you think the guns are going to be fun, but they're not actually any good, it's going to make it difficult to win gunfights, because we all know the meta guns are the ones that win the gunfights. It doesn't matter what you try and use, if it's not the meta gun, the chances are you're not going to win a gunfight one-on-one, -on -one unless it's something like a sniper that you're using. So what I'd recommend is going through like someone like my channel, right? You've got loads of videos on the best class apps in the game. Easily go and find yourself a loadout, work out which guns you enjoy. There's a couple of guns that are very viable, don't get me wrong, there's a couple of guns that are viable so go through my channel like i say pick out which guns you think you like or you know that you like go and make the loadout that i've set up on them and you guys are going to start absolutely frying these other people in the game without a shadow of a doubt so one thing i do want to touch on guys is going to be awareness and just awareness of the map and the other players and just sort of things you can pick up on to actually get yourselves out of gunfights that you might not be winning so the first thing like i said before is when you're fighting a full squad make sure you're getting one or two knocks and then rotate to a different area and once you get these knocks if you can pick up a full kill and get that ping on the uav for the on rebirth it's absolutely huge. It's going to really, really help you with your positioning for the next gunfight. So what you guys are going to do, like I say, don't focus mainly on the full kills. Like You want to make sure you're out of the way of the other opponents before you're focusing on full kills. But if you can pick up a full kill and get that blip on the UAV for where hit the rest of your teammates are, it could be absolutely huge and it could really save your life. Because if you know where they are, you can then position yourself in a completely different position and get in behind them. And they're not going to have a clue that you're there because they still think you're over where you killed their teammates. So UAVs and just getting full kills and just making note of the UAV from where everyone else's team are is absolutely huge within this game. The next thing you want to be doing as much as you can is popping UAVs just so, again, you know the positioning of most of the players within the game. Yes, some people will be running ghosts, so you're not going to see everyone, but you know the positioning of the majority of players, which is going to allow you to work out where you want to rotate to. It's going to allow you to know where other people are, if you've got people near you or not, or you want to push to a different area. It's going to really help with you being aware of where everybody is. And also now that they've added into Rebirth, you've got the command centers or the control center things, whatever you want to call them, uh, the like tower things that you can pay 1.5k for. And it's going to give you a, like a UAV blip every couple of seconds when within that location of where you are. So if you've got people near you, they're going to start pinging up on the radar again. It's only 1.5k, so a lot of the time you have that within the game. So if you run past them, make sure you just activate them because it's going to, again, give you more awareness of the map. It's going to allow you to know where everybody is within the game and give you a lot more opportunity to get a lot of kills and get your positioning right on the other people. And then the final thing I do quickly want to touch on is going to be playing your life and what do i mean by this it's going to be if you're in a situation where you for example are trying to come out of zone you can see a full team on a building they've not spotted you i know a lot of people would start firing at them especially if they're stood in the open they're going to start spraying at them right but if you know there's four of them and one maybe two of you you're never going to win the gunfight. You've got to push out of where you are because zone's coming in. You've got a full team stood in front of you. And as soon as you're in that open, you're just going to get absolutely annihilated. So what you're going to want to do is be a bit more tactical in that situation. You're going to want to sit there for as long as you can. Watch where the four are. And if you can get a perfect time where they're not looking at you or they, they might have dipped back into cover or something. Say, for example, they're on top prison, right? And you're coming out of the tower building. Just for example... And they're on top prison and they're all looking at you and they're completely stood on the railing. They're completely exposed. You could fry them if you wanted to. But you know there's four of them and the chances are you're not going to be able to take out all four before zone hits you. What you're going to want to do is make sure they're going to jump back into the stairwell or back onto the top of prison before you end up making your rotation. Because basically you're not going to die that way. It's going to give you the uh, opportunity to actually have another life and just be able to run at them. You now know where they are. You know they're top prison. You can now, but you can now make your own way up to top prison whether you want to go far prison up or you got the stairs in the first, the first bit of prison. It's entirely up to you. But... Also, what you want to be doing is if you're in a gunfight, and like I say, playing your life again also comes into the rotating of when you are down in squads. Get the first kill, then you want to be able to play your life because the people know where you are. They know exactly where you are after getting that first kill. Because you've been completely called out by the person you have already knocked, they're going to be calling you out, live pinging you. So what you want to be doing is rotating as far as you can. Make sure you give enough time for that live ping to fall off as well. Get a nice way around the map uh, or around the area that you are before the enemies come looking for you. Get behind them, get those kills, and again, rotate once again before you get the final kills. And again, that is just playing your life. And just genuinely, if you think you're in a situation where you're gonna, you, you can't win the gunfight or whatever, just get away from that situation as much as you can. Use your stims, play it up as often as you can, and just genuinely try and get away from the uh, gunfight that you aren't going to be winning. And again, just play your life. Hopefully this video has helped some of you out. If it has, be sure to smash big thumbs up and let me know if you do get any better games with this information and extra advice in the comments below. I'll be interested to see if any of you guys do improve from these tips and hopefully you do. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, make sure you are subscribing with notifications to tell us if there's any more videos on the channel. I appreciate watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll catch you in the next one in a bit.